Hey there, Walter here from Naked Forex, full-time trader with the book Naked Forex, and you are here to learn about risk, of course, because that's what we're going to talk about. Now, what I want to do is show you a couple of tools, and of course, you can go into the comments down below this video if you want to get these suckers. And what typically happens when, you, when you're looking to test a strategy, well, I, what I do is I use Forex Tester. Uh, well, I'll put the link down there too. If you want, if you don't have it, and you want to get it. I do have a discount link that is a, that is an affiliate link, so they will pay me uh, thirty or forty bucks or whatever it is if you do or, or use my link. But it'll also be cheaper than if you just went straight to the website and got it. Uh, it's a simulator, so what it enables you to do is to take trades, and then you will uh, get a bunch of data and see what the strategy looks like if you had traded it in real time going back years and years and years and years. So I can go back to 2001, I believe. Actually, I think on an older laptop, I might be able to go back to 2000. But anyway, the the reality is this is a great way to build your confidence if you do trade this discretionary tra uh, trading system. Most traders do, most traders do. Unless you are letting the computer do all the trading for you, I think it only makes sense to use uh, something like Forex Test or some sort of simulator like that. There are other ones as well. So what I want to do here is share with you a um, spreadsheet. You can get this. Um, I'll put down the link. Remember, you have to save it, uh, save a copy. So make a copy and save it to your own Google account, Google Sheets account or Google Drive or whatever, because um, you won't be able to edit it. Because The reason why we do that is because people can... Um, you know, mess with the formulas and stuff if we let everyone get in. So the best thing to do is just download it for yourself and then, or download a copy as an Excel copy if you want, and you can go ahead and put open that in Excel too. All right, so what, what you do here is you gotta find a link somewhere on the interwebs where it sh shows you what the PIP cost is, okay? Now, I like the XM one uh, because I, well, I have an account at XM and also because it's pretty darn good. It's got a lot of currency pairs on there. You'll notice that some of them don't have all of the crosses like the pound cad and stuff like that. Um, and obviously, if you have an, an account, uh, a, a pair like the Aussie USD or the Euro USD or the pound USD and you have a USD account, obviously, you're looking at one cent, 10 cent, a dollar or ten dollars uh, per, per, uh, per, per pip per lot, right? Now, so the way that this works is you go, okay, well, I'm going to take, let's say, pound CAD. I'm going to take a trade on the pound CAD, all right? And let's say that I'm, um, I've am i got a U.S. dollar account, and um, I'm just going to trade, you know, micro lots or whatever or, or in a certain number of micro lots. One of them, I want to see what does one lot cost me? And then I hit calculate, and this bad boy is going to spit it out for me. Boom. 0.07. So now I can I can put it in here and go okay 0 0.07. Um, that's that's right there. And I know that if you know my my entry price is 1.9950 and my stop loss is 2.0037, I can take 57.42 lots, um, micro lots. Uh, if it's mini lots, it's going to be 5.7 mini lots, right? Uh, so that's the advantage of using micro lots. I think I've talked about that in another video, why you'd want to do that. If I'm going to risk 1.5% of my $23,312 account, I'm going to be risking that much, right? So that's pretty straightforward. So a lot of people don't know how to use this. This is a fixed fractional uh, calculator based on you know the price per pip. So you always have to plug that in. Remember, if you're going to use this and you use a yen pair, you got to make sure that you use yen buy and yen sell. Um, any yen pair or a pair that has the, uh, you know, 180.59 or whatever. It's not the normal, uh, like uh, the pound and the, and the euro and the Aussie, where it starts with a zero point something or a one point something. In some cases, a two point something, I suppose. But whenever you have one of those yen pairs, you got to switch it over to that. Okay. All right. Now, uh, let me share with you probably the most important thing here. Once you understand how to set your risk per trade based on whatever currency pair your your account is in and where your stop is placed, this is really only for those strategies where you don't have a standard stop loss placement. So for example, in this strategy, which I'm testing and doesn't really look that good at all, I'm looking at inside candles that are really small, the smallest candles of the last four. And, um, 
and then I wait for the market to break out um, sort of after the, the beginning of the day. I don't I discount any breakouts at the first four hours of the day. And then um, I'll go with that breakout, right? Now, and I've got a trailing exit that I talk about in the Naked Forks book, which is um, the three bar that I'm using on this. It doesn't look very good. Probably not a strategy I'm going to be using. I tried testing these inside candles, boy, 2013 years ago, something like that, 14 years ago, and couldn't come up with anything then. Still not looking too good. But, um, so, uh, but, but what I can do now is I can say, well, if I have my, my stats, I can plug them into the risk calculator and figure out, um, you know, what kind of drawdown am I looking at here? So let's say I have a 52% win rate and my reward to risk ratio is two. So I'm, I'm risking a thousand bucks to make 2000 or risking a hundred to make 200, 200 to make 400. You get the idea. And I'm going to risk 1.5% right? And then I always, always, always put 10,000 here. Now you can argue that, but I am telling you, this is the most conservative way to do it. Then you go draw down. There's a video here that'll walk you through this, by the way. And then I say, okay, given that I know that my stats are 52% win rate, two to one reward risk ratio, and a 1.5% uh, risk per trade, which is called fixed, uh, uh, fixed ratio, right? Sorry, fixed fractional. Fixed ratio is something totally different. Fixed fractional, that 1.5% fraction of my account, I'm always risking on every trade. What I do is I go ahead and I go, all right, I think if I had a 25% drawdown, I would be in freak out town and I would probably stop trading or at least seriously consider if you know my system is broken. All right. So then I hit calculate and this is going to give me the odds of that actually happening. You can see I have about if every time I click it, it's going to run a Monte Carlo thing in the background, which means it's going to be a different number. And so you can see I have about a 92 to 95 percent chance of avoiding a 25 percent drawdown. If that's not good enough for me. I might have to go ahead and reduce this right here. This is the easiest way to get around this. It might only mean a uh, reduction to 1.4%, and that might do it. No, it doesn't look like it, 97 to 98 now. Looks like I'm right around 97 to 98, 96 to 98, somewhere around there. So I'm gonna have to reduce it just a little bit further. It looks like it's probably gonna end up at 1.3, maybe 1.2, let's see. So I got a 99 to 98% chance of avoiding a, yeah, pretty good. I might be able to trade this at 1.3% if I'm willing to writ to know that 99 times out of 100, 98 times out of 100, I'm not gonna achieve a 25% drawdown. Now, that's provided that my, my, my data that I got from Forex Tester holds true in the future. Now, we don't know that that's gonna be the case, but that's how I would figure that out. So you can get the the, uh, the lock calculator uh, tool in the link down below this video. You can get the, the link to the PIP calculator here, and you can get the, uh, just know that they will, different brokers will have very slight differences um, in this. It kind of depends on how they do their rounding, so just, just know that, that that is true. And then the risk calculator, which is probably the coolest tool, is right here. And so that that's how, and the video will walk you through how to use it. So the reason why I'm giving you this is I just want you to, to be aware of the number one reason why traders um, run into trouble, why they give up, why they decide not to trade, all that, all, um, which is pretty sad, really, when you think about it, because they get their system right. Um, they've got their, they, you know, they, they've done, they've done their testing. They got everything ready to go. And then what they forget is that it's actually the drawdown that ends up, you know, slicing them up, up. And, uh, that's the end of the game for a lot of traders is because they didn't really get their risk right. So the three parts for trading are your psychology, your mindset, your trading system. It's got a 
be one that makes money, right? And that's why you do all your testing and all that, which is what most people focus on. And then the risk. And a lot of traders will understand the importance of the, the system, especially in the beginning. And then later on, as they get more advanced, they understand the, the, the importance of the psychology. But the risk is something that's kind of skipped over. If you want to learn more about how you can improve any trading system by using um, aggressive risk strategies or even you know is you can be as aggressive as you want you can go to a big profits course and have a look around there and see what that's all about i share with you a kind of a pretty cool system that i've discovered over the last six years of looking at risk it's been my, my number one thing that i've been looking at really is risk and how risk can amplify the results of any profitable trading system so you can go to bigprofitscourse.com and find out all about that over there in the meantime I wish you very happy trading, and we will see you in another video. See ya. Bye.